Today is soup day. I am going to make some beef soup today. So uh, the pot is on. Getting the water to a boil and then add the meat. Meat. Not your typical soup beef, but I use any parts of the meat. So this is what I'm going to use today. The steak. This is the bottom round steak. I'm going to use this today for the soup. I'm going to, I'm going to add green plantain. Some green bananas, some corn, this is frozen corn, I didn't go to the store to get fresh ones. No, we can't forget our carrots, no we can't forget these. Going to add some potatoes, we had some red ones, going to use those, and of course, what is a soup without some dumplings? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So we're gonna add some dumplings or what we usually put in soup, we call them spinners. And I'll show you those when I add them to the pot. So I'm going to just peel all my food that will go in the pot. The the water is on the stove right now, uh, trying to get to a boil so I can add the meat. I'm going to finish cleaning up the meat and cut it up so that it will be in bite-sized pieces. Uh, all the food are, are going to be cut up to bite-sized pieces because it's going to be a small pot of soup today. All right. I love one pot uh, meals. So awesome. And I know my little guy is so excited. So, so excited to get some food soup today. All right. So, let me show you the vegetables that I cut up. See how uh, small I cut them. Not that small, bite size. You know, of course, it's going to be cut up a little bit more for him. So, he's able to eat it and not choke because he's still small. He's just one. So. All right, so let me go and prep all my stuff and I will come back and show you what's going on. Cleaning my meat, adding some vinegar. I like to use vinegar to clean my meat, fruits, veggies, all of that good stuff. I did add some lime juice to this too before. Just clean this up and I'm going to cut this up in small bite-sized pieces and add it to the pot. Meat's all cleaned, so I'm gonna cut it up now. I'll cut up. See? Cut it up. Water is boiling, so I'm going to add the meat. Meat. Look at that quickly change color. Meat in the pot. And I'm going to add a little salt to it. I'm going to add um, some noodle soup later on. Um, so I don't want to put too much salt because I don't want the pot to be salty. Because the um, noodle soup is a, a little salty for me. And um, right now, I like to put some of my seasonings before. So I'm going to put some of my pimento seed or black peppercorns in here. So just add a little salt to the pot. Just wash these. I'm going to add them to the pot. There you go. I'm going to cover it and, and let it boil. Let it cook about three quarters of the way and then I'll add all the food to it um, so that everything will just cook right at the same time. All right. I will come back when I'm adding my food and show you the progress. All right. 
stay tuned don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more of these videos and of course make sure you watch all the way till the end so you can see what my critic have to say about this soup there goes my veggies carrots green bananas which i have in my hand i'm peeling uh, potatoes plantains i already peel one banana and cut them up so this is the size bite size i'm gonna cut them up that way so i'm going to cut up all my vegetables put them in the water so that they won't turn brown before i get to put them in the pot so once i'm ready i just take them out of the water put them in the pot with the beef and get the soup on the road all right let me just peel these cut them all up and then i will see you guys shortly i'm going to add some corn to the pot i like to add my corn i like to add my corn early on in the pot so I'm about That should be good. Don't want to overcrowd the pot. So I'm going to let this continue to cook for the next maybe 15 20 minutes. And then I'm going to add the rest of I'm going to add my plantains, my bananas, my carrots. So that it will cook and then when it's like 20 minutes before I finish I'll add the potatoes and then I'll also add the dumplings or my spinners to it and then I'll put all my other stuff during the time like my thyme my scallions and also the also the chicken soup that I was telling you about before all right so let me cover the pot i'm going to tend to the little one and i will be back to show you the progress 15 20 minutes let this cook and then i'll add the rest of my products my is what it looks like when i cut everything up bananas plantains carrots potatoes run to the bottom potatoes so that's a good amount, probably a little too much, but I can always use them a little later on. So that's what we have here. I'm going to clean up a little bit and tend to the little guy. I'll see you back here in a little bit. Let me cook, add in some of my noodles. I'm actually gonna add some of my noodles. And who could forget? Who could forget? Pepper. Okay. I added some noodles. I'm going to add all my food to the pot now so that it will cook down. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Alright, I'm going to put my food in the pot. And put them in. Of course, you yeah, after your meat boils, the water is gonna go down, so you can add a little more water to the pot as you see fit which I'm going to do now. Add my water. Gonna finish adding the rest of my vegetables to the pot. I'm gonna save the potatoes for the last 15, 20 minutes. Got my pot already full. 
don't want to make it too overcrowded no one to leave space for my dumpling because what's a pot of soup without dumpling huh? what is it i might usually um beef soup is with like red peas like kidney beans but i am like a, a quick pot mommy so i didn't bother putting any peas in my soup but if i feel like it i have some peas in the can that's already cooked i can add it to it if i wanted to so my pot overcrowded too much like i said i want to leave space for my dumplings um my spinners all right so let me finish adding a few more pieces, cover it up, let it cook down. And while it's cooking, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make knead my flour to make my spinners. So that by the time this is cooking and I'm done kneading, I can actually add the potatoes as well as the dumpling slash spinners to the pot and then cover it and let it just do its thing. Let it bubble, bubble, bubble and give us some nice soup again if you just started watching please hit the subscribe button remember to watch till the end because i have a critic that will let you know how this beef stew turns out all right let me just finish adding the rest of the stuff in the pot and i will be right back I wish you were able to smell this. It smells so yummy. So, so, so yummy. Alright, so I s put enough food in the pot. I left some uh, over because I didn't want to overcrowd my pot. It's already packed. I, I want, like I said, I want to leave some room for my dumplings. So, I don't waste any of my food, so I will save what's left. I will save that, put it in a Ziploc bag, and put it in the refrigerator because I can always use it again later. All right? Don't be afraid to put your leftovers in a Ziploc bag and put it in the refrigerator for later, mommies, because a lot of times... You don't have that extra time to make your dinner or make some food the way you want to. Little one is napping right now. So when he wakes up, soup will be ready for him. All right. So we'll come back and show you when I put my dumplings and my potato all right save for later i'm going to put this in the freezer i can use i can cook it either cook it um by like that with and with some meat or i can make soup again but at least we have this ready for next meal The butter bubu. Look at that beauty. Take my flower. Not gonna do a lot because that's already full. Basically, <laughs> and I'm using a smaller pot today. So I am going to add just a little bit of salt to the flour. I don't want to hear that. I don't taste any salt. So I add a little bit of salt. Oops. Oopsie daisy. They're going to taste the salt today. And some more for when I mix it up. Mix 
see that. So that's so we can go around. And I'm going to go ahead and need my flour to make my spinners to put in the pot. It's bubbling now, so it's ready for the dumping. It's bubbling, so it's ready. Alright. Gonna need my flour and I'll be back. Needing my flour. I actually start with a spoon first. <laughs> I add my water and I start with a spoon. And when I get my doughy consistency and I put the spoon down, then I dig in with my hand. Fun fact. I cannot knead the flour using my right hand and I'm a righty. I have to use my left hand. I have no idea why, but that's what I realize when I'm trying to knead flour. It's always with my left hand. Come to find out also, same thing with my dad. He can only knead the flour with his left hand. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> All right, let me just knead this. See, I'm going to put the spoon down now and then I'm going to use my hand and I'm going to go to town, go to town. Oh, look at that. You know, traditionally a lot more food items would go into the soup pot, but this is my version of the soup. You know, just don't go crazy, you know, but be conscious of what you like and add it to your soup the way you like it, you know. Don't go crazy with all your ingredients and then you're like, ooh, I don't like that. And go with the flow, go with that. Go with what you have available on hand if that's how you like to roll. Mommy's, you know how it goes. No time, but you just have to work at what you have because you didn't get to go to the grocery store. Or, you know, if that's what you like, that's what you like. Don't worry about it. These are all things that we enjoy. And I like to cook a quick pot. I love these one pot meals. <laughs> Quick and easy. You know, when you have a little one, you gotta make good use of your time because they're not on your time, you're on their time. Yeah. You know my ritual removing the pepper from the pot. <laughs> I'm going to remove it from the pot so that it won't pop and my little one can enjoy his soup and I can enjoy the soup. Him enjoying it now and then later. Alright. As you can see, I also added in the potatoes. Potatoes are in. I'm going to add a little bit more water to this. Don't go crazy. Just be conscious. Just going to add a little more water to this. I actually have the kettle on the stove. I'm going to add warm water, not cold. So I'm going to add some warm water to this. I'm actually done with my kneading my flour. So I'm going to put that in as well. Done kneading my flour. Mm -hmm. There goes my spinner. That's how I do it. And I just add it in my pot. Okay, I'm just gonna finish up the rest and cover the pot and let it bubble, bubble, bubble. And then my spinners. And I am going to 
cover this. Let them go in. So I put the kettle on, trying to get some hot water, and I forgot to turn it on. <laughs> So, when it gets hot, I'll add a little more water to this. And uh, cover it and let it finish. Uh, next 20 minutes or so and it will be done. I'll come back and show you the finished soup. Alright? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And make sure you watch till the end to hear what my critic have to say. Gotta add in. Boom! Some time! Add another little peek. Boom! Oops! Some time. And I have a piece of scallion I'm going to add. Kettle finally is hot. I'm going to add some water. There you go! That's a hefty pot of soup. That's a hefty pot of soup. What do you think? I needed a bigger pot, huh? I know. Next time. Yeah, baby. See, beef is very tender, very tender. So, I'm going to put the scallion uh, in here, and I'm going to cover it and let it cook for about another 15 minutes or so. And then it will be all done, all done. All done. Raise your hand if you want some soup. Ha. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite soup is. All right. Then it will be all done, all done. Look at that. Boom. Look at that corn. Look at that. Pots bubbling, bubbling, hot. Bubbling, bubbling. It's basically done. Hands up. Who wants some? Mm -hmm. There you go. My beef soup. Oh, and by the way. I didn't put the peas in it. I just left it the way I have it. So I didn't add the peas. Didn't think I was going to, but it was an option I had. I didn't, and it's okay. It's a-okay. There you go. Look at all of my spinners. All my spinners right there. Smiling. Mm -hmm. All this yummy, yummy. All done. Boom.
there you have it that is my version of beef soup so I'm gonna plate some out for my little guy let it cool down because he's going to be waking up shortly so he'll have his soup ready thank you for watching and again to see more videos like these please hit the subscribe button <coughs>